what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to TechKren YouTube channel talking about the Wave OS 4.5 official version which is available for the Redmi Note 8 users yes if you're looking for a stable custom room based on Android version 11 Wave OS might be a very good choice for you I'm using it some time on my device and it's just great it has whole stability and didn't got any kind of major bug till now and you should definitely give it a try if you're looking to, some, looking to install something interesting on your device Wave OS actually consists of all the google apps so yes google play store etc all the things are already available there but it doesn't come with a pixel launcher pre-installed it has its way worse launcher basically just they rename it and it comes with the icon pack support for that but doesn't have the option of hiding the apps and some extra interesting options but you can get them very easily without by installing some custom launchers launcher etc this has these new gestures, swipe from the right side, you'll see this quick settings panel. And quick settings panel has a OnePlus kind of UI, Oxygenous kind of UI, bit of things are actually like that. And you can see some options are present, for example, screenshot and etc. Also, it has a screen recording option available for you. In screen recording, you have some three or four extra options available for you and you can use screen recording. I didn't got any kind of issues while screen recording and you can also use this on your device if you want to. So these are some interesting things you get in WaveOS 4.5 official version. Talking about some other things, the UI and smoothness, etc. It's quite smooth. After using for some time, it didn't got any kind of lags at all and you should definitely give it a try on your device if you're looking to install something smooth builds on a device some smooth builds smooth animations smooth ui then this room is a good choice for you also it has the support of banking apps which means if you use this room on your device if you install magisk on your device you simply need to hide the magisk from settings and you will see the safeness status will be passed for you but yes if you don't use magisk on your device if you don't want to root your device the safeness status is still be passed without installing magisk so yes all the good things are present for you no issues in using banking apps you can use them on your device it's all up to you now moving on to some other things for example this was about the safeness status and i always safeness status also includes the play product certification and yes if you talk about the play product certification the play product is also certified so which is something good it also comes with a MIUI camera pre-installed for you so that you have this photo 48 megapixel portrait etc all these options are available for you and including that if you're looking to install gcam which is called google camera 8.1 or 8.0 8.2 or even if you want to use the old gcam you can use there might not be any kind of issues in that pro mode etc everything seems to be working here this is actually a miui camera or i'm not sure if it is anx camera but the thing is it's working it's i think miui camera which you get pre-installed so yes yeah, something is really good we also have oxygen os style ui in settings as expected in the settings if you move on to the settings it has some extra changes if you compare it with the waivers 4.3 or Wavos 4.1 it has some extra changes available for you battery data graph etc seems to be good enough it comes with the support of all the basic things fingerprint face unlock etc app locker and everything seems to be working as i previously mentioned you in the display section you have the option of choosing other options like status bar icons which you can customize on a device if you want to and the ui smoothness is good in the series bar as as you just saw some time ago i shown you the quick settings there those were in this customization section which you can customize here as you just saw quick settings quick pull down including that if you move on to other customizations there's an option available for you called enable blur so disable it because if you will enable it you might face some little bit of lag so it's better to disable this to simply ignore all those lags and then you'll not face any kind of lags if you disable that this display cutout doesn't seems to be good here honestly speaking if you hide this this is how your status bar is looking like which isn't looking that good so this things the framework values would actually change so it's better not to use this but else i didn't got any kind of issues didn't got any kind of bugs so yes one of the most try customers out there if you want to try out something different VOS must be a good choice install this build on your device if you want to link for this build is in the description this is all from today's short and simple video xiaomi parts is also included by the way this is all from today's video i hope you like this thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video and goodbye. Have a nice day. Over the edge, feel 